Good afternoon and welcome back YouTube and all those who have found this video. I hope the Lord is blessing you all and keeping you and your loved ones healthy and happy in these contentious times. This video is pertaining to Jesus Christ and another gospel that is being preached, one that is not according to the scriptures. And we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But there are many individuals out there today preaching another gospel, preaching that Jesus is God. Let me show you this. This is Mark chapter 10, verse 35. This is James and John, the two sons of Zebedee. They came to Jesus and they were saying, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask you. And Jesus said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant that we may sit in your glory, one on your right and one on your left. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking for. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink? Or are you able to be baptized with the baptism which with I am baptized? And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you shall drink, and you shall be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized. But to sit on my right or on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those whom it has been prepared. Now, if Jesus, if you believe that Jesus is God, then why did he say that this is not his to give? Why can God not grant these men these positions? Because he's not God. He's the son of God. He's a prophet, a high priest, an apostle. He is our king, appointed over us by his God and father. The God and father who he told us was greater than he was. Now here in another verse, in John chapter 6, verse 38, Jesus tells us, For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Again, if you believe that Jesus is God, then why did he say he did not come down to do his own will, but the will of him who sent him? Whose will was it if it wasn't Jesus's? And who sent him? Who does God serve? No one. And here in another verse, Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. So if it's not Jesus' word, whose word was it? And again, who sent him? See, if Jesus was God, then these would be dishonest statements. And we know that Christ was not a liar. We and our is plural, more than one. And we know that God is only one. Now Jesus is the very stumbling stone. And the scriptures are written in a way to cause stumbling. To keep out those who are not allowed in. We must listen to every word that Jesus says. Here in this verse, in Hebrews... It says, in the days of his flesh, he offered up both prayers and supplications with loud crying and tears to the one able to save him from death. And he was heard because he feared. Who did Jesus pray to if he's God? Who saved him from death? And who did he fear? He's a son. He learned obedience from the things which he suffered. And he had been made perfect. It also says above that Christ also did not glorify himself as to become a high priest. But he who said to him, thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. 
So again, Christ did not glorify himself. One higher than him glorified him, anointed him and gave him the position of high priest and apostle. As it says here, Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of a heavenly calling, consider Jesus the apostle and high priest of our confession. We confess him and his testimony unto salvation. And the testimony is received 